Hello everyone, welcome back to another installment of Breaking It Down, uh, the series where I take songs that I wrote and um, read off the lyrics and break down what they mean. I bet you didn't think I was going to finish this series. No, I am. There's still two more episodes, this one and one next Tuesday. So, last week I did the song, What Could I Do? Did a really funny thing That every time you try to hit up the bing And this week I'm gonna do the song, It's Shot. And It's Shot is definitely one of the more, if not the most, in-depth and personal and really just, um, yeah, it's really just the, I think it might be the most personal song on the album for me. So It's Shot, um, before I read off the lyrics, I'm going to give a little backstory of the song first, um, which I didn't do in the other 10 installments. I never really gave a backstory before, but maybe I should have, hmm. I don't know. But the backstory of its shot, I actually made its shot, like wrote the lyrics way before I wrote the the, uh, the tune and the melody. I wrote the lyrics in, God, I want to say like December or uh, 2017 or January of 2018. Um, but then I, I kind of forgot about them. And then I'm like, when I knew I was making an album, I'm like, I need to bring this song back. So I just made a really quick beat. And it's a really simple beat. Uh, and this is the only song on the album that is rap all the way through and there's no singing. Let me tell you a story about a man screwed up in his own territory. Has a crippling depression, should book a therapy session. He, he has two kids and a wife. It's a joy to have them in his life. Trying to find the price of life and what to offer. It's getting to the point where we can't take no more. His wife says, why are your tears not on the floor? And he just say, I don't want to do it no more. So life moves on, that's the purpose of the song, this is a true story, everybody put your hands up, put your hands up, sing the chorus. Um, now, there's actually a lot to this first verse here, uh, first of all, this is actually, the song is about uh, my uncle who shot himself in 2016, like the very beginning of 2016, like I think it was like January 2nd or January 3rd of 2016, and yeah, it was really sad, but this is what the song is about, essentially, and it starts off by talking about his mental health and his mental state when he did it, uh, and also, I, uh, think that last line there, you know, um, you know, put your hands up, put your hands up, sing the chorus, I kind of am, uh, I'm, like, uh, kind of referencing Eminem, I'm trying to throw back Eminem, because I feel like he did that in a lot of songs, like, put, like, on the wheel some shady, put your hands up, like, you know, stuff like that, so, and then the chorus, you can, you can kill the stab wound, but you can't kill the long wound, because once a gun is shot, it's shot, it's shot, and you're not coming back, man, you're not, not, not. And that repeats again, but, uh, yeah, I think that's also a very powerful mes message that, yeah, sure, you can go to a doctor, and you can go to a hospital, and you can heal your wound, and you can make it better, but you can't make the people who saw you do that or heard you do that, you can't make them feel better. So he goes to his parents' house, gets his daddy's gun. What are you doing, son? Stealing my gun, stealing daddy's gun, stealing daddy's gun. He really, it really ain't a fun, stealing their daddy's gun. He goes out into the backyard and then pops it. The wife comes out running, saying, I thought I liked it, I'm needing you. And these children need to beat him from you, too. He did get the gun from his mother. It's not actually not his father, but for some reason I wanted to say it was his father, so I did. I don't really know why, though. I put my finger in your head and maybe it'll clear the bleeding. I'm needing you. And these children need to beat him from you, too. The ambulance pulls up to the scene, not trying to be mean, but announcing him dead on the scene. No, that can't be true. How could you do this? We have to take him away, give him one last kiss. Think of all the people he left behind, his dad, Chris. He's really going to miss. There has to be some way to bring him back. We could put him on life support. No, all he'd be is a vegetable, and that's the fact. I hope we learn from this lesson until getting my lessons. And then put it in his head, hoping it would stop the bleeding. And yeah, there was thoughts, like, in life support, but it's like, no, he would completely be a vegetable. He wouldn't even be a thing. He would, he would not be a functioning human. If he was put on life support, he would be a piece of broccoli, pretty much. And the chorus repeats again, and then we have the last verse. There is one more part to the story. Four-year-old John in his room, how boring. Looks out the window, sees and hides his face in a pillow. A couple weeks later, the a therapist to see this is I'm suddenly lyricalist. They go to make sure everything is okay. They say John definitely saw something that day. He was outgoing, but now he's real quiet, not eating much. On a strict diet, starts again, wetting the bed. He can't get the image out of his head. Yeah, um, their, one of their kids, um, who was four at the time, but now he's seven, he saw the whole thing. 
because like after it happened for the next couple months he was really quiet and they saw a therapist and the therapist did an evaluation and she was like oh yeah he definitely saw something um whether it was him shooting himself as it happened or just the bang and then the aftermath or something he saw the dad really messed the family's life up. The wife has to hang the knife up. He didn't really realize how many people he hurt. The wife from Lee has to take off work. Don't ever take a life of random man to damage it. You chose how to handle it. Think if your condolences are flattered. Once the sun sun doesn't really matter, what a disaster. That right there, the fastest rap verse I have ever done yet. Um, and I wanted to do that at some point because I'm like, you know, I have raps, but most of them are not that fast. So I want to have one song where I get really fast. So I did. And um, yeah, that's it's. It's actually a really important line that's said really quickly. So, a lot to pick up on, but it pretty much says, don't ever take your life for granted, manage it, and don't damage it. You choose how to handle it. And it's pretty much, you know, don't take your life for granted, don't, and it's really your choice how to handle it. It's your choice, it's your choice what you do with your life. Whether you end up on the streets or do something with your life, it's your choice. I mean, that's true. Like, why do people, I never got why people say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. It's not your fault. Like, what? <laughs> no, I mean, I get why. It's, it's polite. But logically, it doesn't make sense. Like, I'm sorry for, like, I don't know. Anyway, but that's it uh, for It's Shot. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please leave a like. And if you like what I do, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. No more, no what the age news. November, November, really don't feel like it. Especially vlogmas, vlogmas season four is my main thing right now that I'm focusing on. The first episode comes out on December 1st, 7 p.m. Central Time. You're not going to want to miss it. Season four is the best season, period. I know season five and season six are coming in next year and the year after that. Season five and six are going to be a thing, but I say it's, I don't say it's the best season yet. I say it's the best season, period, because... Season 5 and Season 6 are not as good as Season 4. Not that they're bad, but Season 4 is the best season ever. I can't top myself. With season, with, I can't top Season 4. I just can't. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all next Tuesday with a brand new video where I will be covering the final song on the album, Revelations. Bye, everyone. Have a good day.